More people are carrying weapons, and more people are leaving them in their cars, and more people are taking them. Major Billy Hibbs says LMPD's 9th Mobile Division tracks how many guns are taken out of cars in Louisville, and a recent trend is alarming. One thing we've noticed is a 38% increase in firearms taken from vehicles in the past 40 days. The department's preliminary numbers show in 2018, 573 firearms were stolen out of cars. 507 of those were unlocked. So far this year, LMPD has already reported 366 guns taken out of vehicles. 290 of those cars were also unlocked. That comes to nearly 1,000 guns over the last year and a half. It's opportunity. Which one's unlocked? Which one is going to provide me an opportunity to see what's here? Hib says the numbers should serve as a reminder about the importance of locking your vehicle. Some have this mindset that oh, I live in a great neighborhood. These thefts aren't coming from one section in the city. They're all over. We could probably stop 30% of crime with a simple push of a button. It's that simple. St. Matthews Police Chief Barry Wilkerson says he's having a similar problem with people leaving their cars unlocked and thieves taking advantage. In a lot of these cases, actually, they're leaving keys in the car, leaving cars open. Uh, keys in the console, key fobs in the console. So is Detective Chris Morris with Jefferson Town Police, who says his department has seen an uptick in guns stolen out of cars as well. We don't know if they're going to go out and commit robberies and businesses or individuals um, trying to use them, you know, maybe to carjack a car. Hib says this problem isn't new, but with the recent rash of shootings and homicides, he has this message for everyone living in Louisville. Do not let your gun be the next weapon used in a homicide especially from your vehicle that was unlocked. Now, as Major Hibbs said, the police departments across the Louisville metro area are seeing an increase in both car break-ins and car thefts, and many of these crimes are being committed by juveniles. Reporting live in front of police headquarters, Denny Camper, WLKY News.